hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the customized pages that come in your digital planner. So in my simple 2023 digital planner, there is only one spot where there's customizable pages just to keep things simple. And that is up here on your note sheet. On your note sheet, you've got the five custom pages. Each one of these custom pages links will take you to their own custom page. And for now, it's just blank and I'm gonna show you how to customize it. So you can use these pages for whatever you like. They could be lists of books to read, one could be notes for work, one could just be pictures that you want to save someplace, design ideas, anything like that. So for this tutorial, I'm going to make this top page a books to read list. So to make things easier for future me, I'm going to go ahead and title this books to read. And you can always make it look nicer than that. You can always adjust the title as you need, but just to be quick, there we go, books to read. So I'm gonna turn it off edit mode. Then I'm going to come up here to my dashboard and I'm going to go to templates. And if you watch my template tutorial, you already know how this works. But for my books to read, I think I want a blank checklist. So I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna tap the screen to bring up the toolbar tap the three dots in the top right hand corner and select copy page. Now that the page is copied, I can go to where I want to put it. So in my case, that's up here and it's books to read. Now, when I tap on this link, it is always going to take me to this page. So I like to call this the title page. No matter what pages I put before or behind this page, my first link is always going to take me to this specific page. So if you just want it to be a blank note sheet where you can just scribble ideas, paste pictures, anything like that, this works great as is. If you want to use the custom template like I did or you want it to be multiple pages, I think it's helpful to think of this as a title page or even a table of contents. So I'm just going to make this a title page real quick. Books to read. And obviously you can always make this page as elaborate or as simple as you would like, but I just think it's helpful to have the title there so that you can remember that this page doesn't change. Now to add the actual list of books to read, I'm going to tap in this top right corner, the little page with a plus sign on it. And I'm going to select after because I want the page I'm pasting to appear after the page that I'm currently on and I will choose paste page. And there it is. So now I can list all the books that I would like to read. And it's right after my title page. So to show you how that would work in action, come up to my notes page. I'd like to access my books to read. Luckily I have it labeled so I can tap it. It's gonna take me here to my books to read title page. And then if I just swipe, there's my list of books. Alternatively, if I just want like a note sheet or a scribble sheet, that's totally fine too. We're gonna say notes. Turn off edit mode. I will click here. I can just write or do whatever I want on this page. I don't have to copy and paste a template after it. And there you go. And to show you how that would work too, if I come to my notes page, I can click on my labeled notes. And here we go, my meeting notes. Now, if you take these notes, and then you want to move them out of your custom pages, that is super easy to do. Just come up here, tap those three dots, hit copy page, and then you can paste it wherever you want in your notebook. And then you will have a copy of it so you can erase this original one so that you once again have a blank note sheet. So I'm gonna come over here and since this is not my note sheet anymore, I moved it elsewhere in my planner, I can erase that and I once again have a blank custom page. I hope that that makes sense. You can play with all the different templates that I've included. If you don't want to use the custom pages, that's totally fine too. They're just there if you so choose. Let me know if you have any questions. You can drop a comment below, message me on Etsy, or reach out to me through my website. You can find more digital planner designs on my Etsy and some digital freebies and such on my website. I will link those in the description box. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.